Okay, so here we have the connecting rod removed and all the retainers pulled. And we can just show the wear that's occurred. So on this particular one, it's the, the left uh, swirl valve arm that does that drives the entire motion and it gets the most force and it wears the most. So you can see the others are in reasonable shape still, but it's the left one that's worn the most. And it's almost completely flat. You can see so much of it is gone. And then if you look at the connecting rod, you can see that the left hole is completely worn into a large oval, whereas the others are still in reasonable shape. So here we've put the connecting rod back on just to show that with, uh, with the wear that we've seen how much slop you have now in this part. And you can see there's a lot of movement here with no movement on the other parts. And if you look at the, the swirl valves themselves to see there's the fully closed position and there's the fully open position and the movement on the others is very minimal. So here we have the new connecting rod, aluminum connecting rod with uh, new retainers plugged in. And just to show that this is still the same manifold, completely worn here on the, on the uh, swirl valve arm. And we'll reconnect it and put a new retainer in. There we go. And you can see even with that wear, there's very minimal play now even though we've just replaced the connecting arm and the and not the uh, swirl valve arm. And if you look at the movement in the swirl valves themselves, fully closed, fully open, 